Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. This is I, Yosh of the Goons and Pirate Network. Coming to you after so, 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 so long. I have not posted at all. I think like three months or something like that. Life, you know what? You know, life, life has been life and you know what I mean? So, um, you know, sometimes you just got to put things on hold. But regardless, I am back. And I have something special, something I've been wanting to do for a hot minute now, and um, finally get to do that. Uh, shout outs to my boy Matt because uh, he kind of got me back into trading cards. You know, buying trading cards, collecting them. Um, you know, playing you know different games and whatnot. Um, recently, it's been One Piece. Uh, One Piece trading card game was lit. I thought it was um, I thought it was a fun experience. Hello, what's up? But um, you know, it was it was something that kind of just like spurred my interest in uh, collecting cards again. And what a better time to buy some trading cards. You know, the now that a new Pokemon Fox is out, you got a uh, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Palladium uh, Fates today. Um, I'll be honest with you, I was a Pokemon Stan up until like Generation Four, or I think it's Generation Four, whatever whatever generation Luxray was in. Um. That was the last really Pokemon I played. I, I played the one for the 3DS, uh, the Aloha region, but I don't think I ever beat it. Honestly, it didn't grab me. Um, I, and it hurt my eyes, I'll be honest with you. Um, like the, the 3DS, but I think that was all the 3DS games, not just Pokemon, but regardless, it didn't grab me, so I didn't really play that, so that's why I say like my standing kind of ended with um, uh, season. I th- I, I think it's season four, or not season four, but you know, region four, whatever the hell it's called. Um, but regardless, um, again, shout out to the homie Matt because honestly, homeboy pulled a uh, shiny black mega Charizard or whatever it's called. I don't even know anything about the megas at this point in time. So quite honestly, this is like straight. This is not hype training per se. Let me adjust this light because that is crazy. It's not hype training per se, you know. It's more like the box just came out. If you're gonna get back into something, why not go with the most, you know, recent thing? So that's what we got here today. Um, I'm pretty excited, you know. I might start playing Pokemon again. I remember as a child that that was like a very complicated game for me to wrap my head around. Um, like the trading card game. I, I played all the all the all the games. Like I had all of them: blue, yellow, red silver crystal all that good stuff that was dope but like the trading card game i think that was like a little bit over my head um Yu Gi Oh was definitely my trading card game of choice but um hey who knows if i get some nice stuff and you know card art looks cool and i can get my head around this freaking game you know i might start playing it that'll be fun but regardless i'm gonna open up this box let's see what we got um i know some of this stuff might be uh worth some money so i'll do my best with like opening the stuff carefully again i'll do my best is this a freaking manual right here Try not to damage the box too much. What's nice? I don't know what this is. I'm gonna tell y'all that right now. I do not know what this is. And please, never mind. Don't even matter. I don't know what this is. It looks like a like a sock puppet Pikachu. Yeah, whatever. Leave the who's get back in there. Uh, player guide. Okay, so wait, is this like to teach you how to 
Oh, it teaches you how to play the game, I guess. No, it's a card catalog. I don't know what the hell this is. I don't care. Let me be honest with you. We'll put that off to the side. Okay. It's kind of flea. I like it. You know. See what's inside. Alright, so we got some dice. Cool. What is this? A counter, I'd imagine. Cool. Do I take this out? Oh, I guess I do. Don't put that off to the side. What is this? Okay. Let's open this up. What is this? I'll be honest with you. There's a lot of there's a lot of rubbish. There's a lot of rubbish involved in this unpackaging, and then Loki pissing me off just a little bit. It's so much. But just regardless, it trigger my OCD. Whatever. What is this? What is this? Oh, it's energy. Okay, so. If energy is like the, like, what is that crap called in magic? Mana? Mana? If it's like mana, I, I, I think I can, I can, I can, I can get down with the game. Because I get mana. What is this? Card sleeves. He's a slide. Eat those. He's is cool. All right. Um, put that next to the energy over here. Oh, let's put that there. Mimic you. Here with the yo, it's Ben. My card is. I hope the cards in the packs aren't Ben. <laughs> All right, so mimic you. What does it do? You don't see that? Prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from your opponents. Pokemon EX and Pokemon V Ghost Eye. Oh. Purple, all seeing eye, Illuminati ting, and then uh, was that a star of David just colored in? Okay, all right, whatever. Put seven damage counters on your opponent's active Pokemon. Y'all gotta tell me if that's good or not. Y'all gotta tell me if this is good or not. Also, this dude has has like no attack. He can't do damage. Is is what I'm getting because I know there's like supposed to be like some damage counter stuff on the side. All right, seems weak. Don't know why he's holographic, don't know why he's on a box, but whatever. We'll probably, you know what I've been considering? I've been considering getting a Pokemon Switch. I said a Pokemon Switch, that's insane. I've been considering getting a Nintendo Switch. Um, we'll see if I do that. I saw the light, but I don't think the light you can hook up to the, to the, to the TV. So I might just get, I might just get the regular Switch, whatever. What, what is this? What is this? I don't know what this is. These are cool though. I don't know what they are though. They are cool. But I don't know what they are, so. To the side with you. I'm gonna I'm a redeem this before I post this. I'm gonna just let y'all know that so y'all can try it if y'all want to. Y'all gonna look stupid. Um, I gave my homie, well, he more like took it, but I let him have it, but like, to like three of them cards. All right, and to the piece to resist all. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Pokemon. Trading card games. Scarlet and Violet Palladium Fate cards. Ten additional game cards in each pack. I don't know who that is. I'm telling you that right now. Who this is? Y'all can tell me who this is. I have no clue who this is. Um, again. Number four is where I started. Whatever, wherever Luxray was, is where I stopped. I know that's Pikachu though. Yeah, be crazy if you don't know Pikachu. We're living underneath a rock, fifteen thousand feet underneath the deep sea, in order to not know who freaking Pikachu is. But anyway, shout out to Arnold Palmer. made an insanely amazing 
amazingly delicious drink. Shout outs to you. All right, enough, enough uh, yapping. Let's go ahead and start. So we start with the first pack. Bam. Okay. All right. All right. This is a little uh, different than I thought it would be. All right. Good thing I have nails. Shout outs to me with the nails. Honestly, I was feeling insecure about my nails because they're like low key dirty right now. But, um, you know, manicure incoming, you know, at some point. All right. So here we are. Some nonsense. Are, oh, oh, it's one of them cards again. Okay. All right. Cool. Boom. D. Denny. All right. Cool. Nimona. Draw three cards. That's like pot of friggin' greed. Okay. Natu. I know Natu. That's from Johto. Vols into Zatu. I hated that at Pokemon Stadium too. Rare candies. We love those. Mashold. Adorable. Ultra Ball. We love those. Ah, uh, y'all trying to hold me now. What? What is this? Oi, oi, cologne. Oi, cologne. Finest selection and perfume press. So he's a good smelling pig. I love it. A uh, ghastly. A uh, mime junior. A uh, mag mortar. And a basic energy. Okay. Cool. I like it. Um. So I don't know how the foils and the shinies work for um pokemon so honestly anything that's shiny or has like a gloss i'm just gonna stick off to the side um again y'all can tell me what is worth stuff and what's not i guess um or what's like worthless oh actually you know what if y'all could tell me what is good in the trading card game um that way in case i want to build a deck i can um that actually be way more um way more helpful um then the values of the cards because honestly i could just google them but um i'm honestly i'm quite lazy these are probably again the shiny ones are probably going in the binder because i just like how they look but um yeah <laughs> i mean full stop on that thought kind of kind of toad school this is like Tentacruel. What a uh, grass. What he's on the. He's on the. He's on a freaking grass, dude. He's a squid. What is happening here? Though it looks like a Tentacruel, Toad School is a completely different species. Its legs may be thin, but it can run at speeds of 30 miles per hour. Yo, I'm gonna keep it a bean. If if a small child gets hit at 30 miles per hour, it's over for them. So if this little piece of shit, mind my language, I'm sorry, children, if you're listening to this. If this thing runs into you at, I thought I saw it, height 2 feet, 72 pounds and 72.8 pounds if this thing runs into you at 30 miles per hour at full freaking sprint it's over for your small child this is a dangerous thing get this guy out of here that and i don't like how he looks just keep it above all right so wom woo bat or right, okay no eyes but that's typical of a a, a bat fan p i remember fan p i like don fan roll out De dead 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 any did an A. Did an A. Scrafty. I remember Scrafty from something. I used to play that game on um on the computer. It was like a Pokemon like battle sim. I don't remember what exactly what it's called, but it was fly. That look customization. Sulbet. Oh there you go, there you go. You got your eyes. You opened your eyes. Artazon? Artazon. A, it's a stadium. Okay, so there's probably a place in one of the games. Charmander! Hey, my boy! Gotta love a Charmander. You gotta love him. A Barbok? Okay, I remember this evolve into a Wishcash. Earthquake. That shit was devastating with this guy. And a shiny Executor. That's a nice one. I like this. 
this is cool okay and then a uh basic energy cool so far i like these pulls i'll be honest with you that i think the the the, the one biggest allure that trading cards have for me is that they look so nice i'm gonna be honest with you they look amazing to me like i love the card art and the fact that they be commissioning all different types of artists or artists to do card art is just i think it it, it one not only benefits like the art community and especially like the local artists no 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 hold on i'm, I'm like jumping in it, it not only benefits the art community because it provides like a source of revenue but it really gives like the chance for the local artists to get noticed on a, like a big scale you know what i'm saying um because it honestly only takes one like niche community to fuck with you in order for you to you know get propelled or like kind of like get your momentum going you know what i'm saying so shout outs to you know pokemon and all the trading cards out there um they be hiring these folks you know what i'm saying like look at this this is adorable i would want this man to like make a children's coloring book i'd buy that shit if if this person if this artist made a children's coloring book who's this who's the person illustration kurimitsu Kurumitsu. I'm going to find out if Kurumitsu makes children's coloring books. And if they don't, I'm going to shoot them a DM and let them know, hey, you're missing out on some decent revenue. Anyway, Cottony. This is where we're at. Numel. I remember that. It evolves into Camel Rupt. Pineco. Evolves into Fortress. Loved it on Pokemon Stadiums. Mara. Marak, Maractus, Maractus. You know that's the thing with like um. Let me put that there. That's the thing with um. Pokemon. They be trying to be punny. You know what I'm saying? They think they doing something. Lantern, love Lantern. Primate, whack. Whims, Whimskit, Whims, Whimsicott, whatever. Oh, look at that Entei. That's a pretty boy. That's a good boy. Yo, are are the legendary... Oh, they're called legendary dogs for a reason. Never mind. I was about to ask a dumbass question. Am... Let me put that Entei down. Um, Arm... Armor Rogue? Armor Rogue. And then another Armor Rogue. That was odd. Why would they give me two of different foils and a basic energy? Cool beans. So that's odd indeed. Okay, cool beans. That Entei is fly though. I like this thing. Ah, uh, his ability is pressure. I remember that. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, pressure in the game used to um, make you use two power points make make the uh, the opponent use two power points every time they attack or use the whatever ability that's cool all right uh i think we're at four packs now okay. i wish i knew what i should be looking out for honestly though like what i should be hoping for you know maybe maybe whatever is like on the pack you know if they have like card art if that is like a card in the actual pack kind of like <laughs> open these things safely all right so boom You're here with it boom all right there we go we got Noibat. Okay. I uh, seen like your, your older brothers. Chimeco. I remember Chimeco. Pikachu. Palladian student. So is Palladian like the new region? 
like Hoenn and all of that. Charlia, Gar Gar Gardevoir is dope. And what is it, Gallade? Gallade was, is it called Gallade? The fighting psychic one? I think it was called Gallade. He was cool. Mm, Nimona's backpack. I don't know who Nimona is. I got another Wimscott. This is insane. Ralts. Hey, Ralts, me boy. Frig backs. That sounds dirty. Frig backs. And then Iron Treads. Oh! Oh, okay. Hold on. This thing looks, uh, like different. Hold on. Ooh. Okay. So maybe I should put this in a sleeve. I put that in a sleeve. Ooh. Okay. Cool. I only put it in the sleeve because this obviously has like stars and stuff all over it. Maybe that means something. Or maybe it doesn't. Hmm. Well, anyway. So. Like I said, I haven't. <clears throat> I haven't. Like I said, I haven't posted in a while. You know. The game that i was playing ghost song i'll be honest with you um i was not feeling that game number one because for a very fundamental fun like 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 simple reason i'll say make, make this way more complicated than it has to be for a very simple reason it didn't have any clear direction of where you were supposed to be going like half the time it, like it just left you to like wander around and I don't know if that was supposed to be like an experience like of the game, but quite honestly, I didn't enjoy that part. I I need direction in the game. I need to have missions um, and not just like a little like spot on the map that's like, oh, go oh like get over here. But like there's no clear way of how to actually get over there. So what ended up happening was I, first of all, recorded for three hours, three hours worth of gameplay. And then I said, all right, cool. Let me stop right here and let me, um, let me just start chopping this stuff up, you know, make it easier on myself. Sorry, needed a swig of that good old Arnold Palmer. Pause. But, um, it's an amazing beverage. That lemonade sweet tea. So I begin to... I begin to edit the videos. And so, I can just literally just start. Just about to start. I import... The video and I import the sound and I immediately notice I don't see no like I don't I don't know if I guess if it's called sound waves or whatever I don't see any of that on my sound recording so I just press I just press play and I realized for three hours it did not record my audio and I'll be honest with you I was not gonna talk over that I, that was not gonna happen that was not gonna happen because I was having some great dialogue I feel I was having some great dialogue and that right there. I was like, ah, that's it. That's it. I'm over. I'm, I'm over it. That's it. Um, <laughs> so what's going to end up happening is I'm going to find a game that I actually want to play. Um, honestly, I haven't looked on a library just yet. I may end up and this is going to uh, a little ironic. But um, I may end up just playing Pokemon, like the newest one. Just get right back into it. You know what I'm saying? Starting with the trading cards. Might as well just play the game. Because honestly, that was probably one of my favorite games as a child. Um, even into my adulthood, like I had a DS playing that game. So 
Um, may end up just doing Pokemon. Um, that Ratchet and Clank game, Rift Apart, that came out like years ago. I still may, I may end up playing that too, because Ratchet and Clank again, one of my favorites, and I may end up wanting to get back into that too. Uh, so regardless, we're gonna get back into the gaming. It's just a matter of, uh, excuse me, me just one getting back to recording, period, and then two, uh, finding a game I want to play. So we're gonna get on that uh, sooner than later. Um, but for right now, we're just gonna continue with the uh, card pack on opening and see what we get. So again, another poly, pa Palian, Palian, Palian. Italian student, boom. Lapras, loved Lapras, wish you evolved. Scraggy, okay. Mime Jr., never liked Mr. Mime, thought he was creepy. Scrafty, Curlia, Gengar, love Gengar, almost got a phone case, a Gengar phone case. I ended up getting a Mew phone case. Mankey, oh, a Wug Trio. Is this a good, is this like worth something? Oh, motherfucker, is this Doug Trio with like water? Insane. Okay, uh, hold on. I'm gonna put this in the sleeve again because it is super shiny. Uh, where are my sleeves? I lost my sleeves. Oh, never mind. Found them. I mean, I could use those those Paladin ones that I got, but I, I had bought these, like, for the One Piece cards, and I'm going to use them. So, World Trio. Boom. All right, so we got another one. And then we got a Hound Stone. Is this, like, a cooler dus Duskull? Is, is that, that, cause that I'm, I'm getting Duskull from this. Alright, whatever. It was like a dog. It's like a dog ghost. That sounds stupid. Anyway. Oh, this manky is like silver. This is a spoil. I'm gonna put that back over here. Alright. Here we are. What else would you these aren't too hard to open? I'll say that. It's kind of easy to like, not like, damage the packaging too much, but you know, I just kind of really don't care. Um, all that packaging, I'm definitely going to throw that in the garbage. Fido. Haunter, look at that. I would get a tattoo of that, I'm not going to hold you. Like a little small tattoo. Katani. Um... Maractus, Atticus, Don Fan. I was just talking about your little brother. Electric generator. Hold on, hold on. There's gotta be a way for me to hold these things without like giving up the card on the bottom. Graveyard. Are you? I don't know. Graveyard. Are you related to that other dude? So the guy's name. Don't care anymore. All right. Oh, it's shiny over here. And Char Cadet. Be blessed. And Mobble Stiff. It's a Mastiff, huh? What the hell? It's gotta look like, like a more aggressive, not even more aggressive, but just as aggressive Tasmanian Devil. In the basic energy. Power to the people. Solid. Alright. Oh. That's my code. Don't try to use it. A thousand years worth of wedgie curses. If y'all use my, my codes. <sighs> Alright. So. We're down to the last three packs. Again, y'all tell me what is good. Um, what are good cards? What are, not one, I guess let's just be a little structured about it. One, what is a good card to build? What is a good 
strategy to build a deck around two what is a good card for said strategy to build a deck around and then three what are good supports for that uh deck and good utility and good utility cards for that deck that would be must most helpful all right so pack number three we've got a mastiff a gimme ghoul lechonk lechonk i like that execute that's an og right there nest ball Subat. moonlit hill i'd love to take a nap up there but in the daytime Wubat. uh Cyclazar, the man's like a, 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 a half tire, half freaking lizard. Pokemon, are y'all running out of ideas? And then Clive. Okay, so I'm starting to think that this like um, pattern right here is not like anything, like nothing serious. Cause I can't imagine that this is like a, a like a fly ass card, or I mean, is it? It looks cool. I'll give it that. It looks amazing. He lose. Fire! Do y'all have any good games to suggest? I'm gonna tell y'all what. I don't like Assassin's Creed. I don't like, um... Hmm... I've never played a GTA game, I'll say that, but that's not really something I'd play uh, for YouTube. Um, maybe. Why? Why not? Um, but um, like middle medieval games, I'm not rocking with. Um, Elder Scroll and all that, Elden Ring, I don't really rock with. I played Elden Ring, wasn't really rocking with it like that. Um, I'm more of like a Neo Wulong type dude, if that be the case. But that is also a game I'm not really going to play on YouTube um, for a few reasons. One, uh, the gore. And then two, uh, that to me is kind of a grindy game. Um, though, I, at least those types of games are kind of grindy. And that's not something I would play on, on, a, on the channel. Um, I would more so play like a story oriented, oriented game like Ratchet and Clank or like Jack. I'm, and I'm naming off like old games because those are honestly the games that I uh, I used to play. I haven't really played um, story oriented games um, for years. I would say like most of my adult life, it's been like just multiplayer because I mean, that's where the, the dynamic is. You know what I'm saying? Call of Duty, Apex, um, you know, like Wulong, uh, Neo. Elden Ring, all of that, all those have like multiplayer aspects to them, you know, so that's pretty much where my attention has been gaming wise. Um, Monster Hunter for sure, you know what I'm saying? A Monster Hunter, you know, definitely has a story and you can progress through it um, quite linearly, I would say is a good word, if that's a word or if I'm saying the word right, but that's only if you've mastered the mechanics and you're you're mm, you have pretty good luck i'll say that because you still the, the, no matter how good you are there's still an aspect of like leveling up your your gear in monster hunter in which you need rare parts and those rare parts don't always drop the first time you fight a monster so you may end up having to do a side quest or two um, but for the most part you can progress through that game pretty pretty straightforward but that too is not a game that I would play on the channel only because that's a game that I play with my cousin and it's like a bonding game so that uh that one is reserved but regardless if you guys could, um, I don't know, recommend a game, you know, something like Ratchet and Clank would be fucking amazing. 
Um, I have yet to play a game that I think I like more than Ratchet and Clank and Kingdom Hearts. Um, Kingdom Hearts is my favorite game of all time. They ruined it with Kingdom Hearts 3. I won't get into the, all of that, but, um, you know, a game such as those. Um, yeah, that'd be good. So you got Gimme Ghoul, Scraggy, The Little, Paldian Whooper, Graplock, 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 Iono, which is cool, Kilowattro, it's like an electric seagull. Oh man, I gave it up. Shinx, cool. And a shiny Wooper. And a shiny Zatu. Okie dokie. And a basic energy. So I'll take the shiny ones, put them over here. Oh, put those. All right. All right, and here we are. Last, uh, last pack. Damn it, now I'm realizing, you know, low-key kind of dragged it uh, with my last little uh, tangent. Could have been done. It's all right, we're here now. All right, we'll see what we get. Char Cadet. Ralts. Toad's cool. Clo, 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 Clovopus, Atticus, Camelrupt, Donphan, Chinchow, oh, that's shiny, Gardevoir, EX, I know that should be good, that's a decide, and Revelroom, actually is really cool, I like this, alright, the basic energy and then that. So definitely, I know that Gardevoir has got to be something. I'll say that because it's Gardevoir. And Gardevoir, from what I remember, was lit. And um, if this is a tight, uh, no, this is still a regular Gardevoir. It's just in a different color. All right, so. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Because what I can do really quickly, just for the sake <laughs> of uh, curiosity, uh, yeah, 233. Um, let's go to eBay. Sorry, so what I'm doing is I am going to eBay just to see how much a Gardevoir EX shiny. I don't know if this is the alt card or not. It sure looks like what I'm seeing. Hold on. Gardevoir EX 233 out of 91. Okay. So I'm seeing 85, 150, 57, 42, 69, 60, 53. 69 80 99 30 40 this is a lot this is a lot of different variations of this but look like let's just go low ball it's probably like 50 bucks let's just do that i think that's probably the safest thing a lot of people got this thing in fucking like hard ass fucking 
a case. I mean, I could get a couple of those from Walmart, I guess, if it's that, if it's that deep. But I, got, I mean, I guess I got a, I got a binder too. I can put this bad boy in. Is it nice and straight? Yeah, it's straight. It's pretty straight. I don't see any like scratches or anything on it. So, all right, cool. Cool. I, I guess we got something that's nice, that's worth something. Um, regardless, that shit was fun. You know what I'm saying? I like cards, bro. I really do, man. And the better the card art, the more I like them. Honestly, just real quick, and I, and I don't mean to drag it out. Um, I'm gonna wrap it up as soon as as soon as this part is done. But I just kind of want to go through at least the shiny joints and see, you know which card I, I like best so zatu so all right so and this is how we're gonna do we're gonna do um we're gonna do ones i like the most uh ones i like middle and then least all right so uh he's in the middle uh bottom at the top at the top bottom bottom Bottom, bottom, middle, bottom, bottom, definitely at the top, middle, bottom, top. This is a fucking adorable. Ah, middle, middle, definitely somewhere at the top. Middle, middle. Top, just because he's Charmander, I'm sorry. Bottom. Middle. Bottom. So, just real quick, top contenders. We got Charmander, Entei, Ralts, Wolg Trio, and Clive. Alright. Well, regardless, I enjoyed our time. I, oh, Shinx. My boy, Shinx. I enjoyed our time. I appreciate, um, you know, I appreciate y'all tuning in, man. All I ask is for y'all to like it. If y'all liked it, um, comment if y'all would like to. Oh, definitely comment if y'all have any of the freaking answers that I was asking. Uh, any of the answers for the questions that I was asking earlier. Um, you know, card wise. And then games, you know, recommend the games. Better answer. If y'all do have any 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 thoughts or opinions, please comment. Subscribe if you want to. Um, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna pressure y'all right now. I gotta become a little bit more consistent. You know what I'm saying? So tune in at least, I guess, you know, keep me in the back of your mind. And um Yeah, man. Appreciate it. That's about it. All right, good night.